doing today. So today, guys, do be free to be different, have some fun, and be yourself, guys. But today, I have my first in-class uh, class today, so I have to go to campus, which I'm actually really excited for to see what it's really like. And then, after that, I come back, and then I don't have any other classes for the rest of the day. So I have uh, an in-class from 11 to 1, and then I come back, and then I don't have really much anything for the rest of the day, which I'm kind of excited for, because then I can just work on a bit of work that I have to do, and just pretty much also chilling, just get stuff done. And, uh, yeah, so, um, I'm honestly, I'm about to head out soon to go to the class, so, anyway... Um, I'll catch you guys when I come back from my first in-class class. school right now and it was honestly it was it was pretty fun and I really enjoyed today actually and it was a little raining so like today is weird like I woke up and uh, it wasn't raining and then it started to rain and then that was like not raining anymore if you guys could see that um, and I don't know it's not a bad day outside but it was pretty fun we went into the studio and we also um, where you were in the control room, and so I got to use a couple cameras today, just get like a little feel for it. It's very, very similar to what I did at Rogers, in which I think that's kind of cool because I already have like experience in it, and uh, I'm excited for what I am like, doing this semester with this course. Um, so this course is in school every other week, and then I have a course on Thursday that's in school every other week. So... When I don't have a class in school, I don't have a class that week. So say I'm online on Monday, I'm in class on Tuesday, I'm online on Wednesday, I'm in class on Thursday, and I'm online on Friday. The following week, I will be online on Monday, no class on Tuesday, online on Wednesday, no class on Thursday, and online on Friday. So the only... The only days that I'm ever in class are on a Tuesday and a Thursday, and they alternate because other people have to go in. And uh, what I thought that was kind of cool was that there was um, eight people in my class today. There is nine people actually in my class. And I, I think that's, like, really good because back in high school, there used to be, like, 30 people in a class. I know it's... Um, like lower now because of the virus and all that stuff but to have only nine people in your class is amazing because you can get so much stuff done and like you you know your class and like you you will get to know the people in your class and like everything like that like the teacher can explain things more because there's nine people instead of having to explain it to 30 people and it can do more like one-on-one -on -one stuff with you rather than like having again 30 people in a class but um yeah so i just have a little bit of work to do um not too much and uh so um i'll catch you guys later my favorite artists songs by them so it's the the artist that i really enjoy my favorite songs that they have made so i'm gonna start it off with my favorite artists um if you're new um i'm pretty sure i have said this before who my favorite artists are but if you are new these are my favorite artists um so number one Trippy Red, so I'm going to go through top 10, um, and I listen to a lot of artists, and like any artist, like I listen to any hip-hop artist, 
Um, if you want me to do like old school, I can do old school. I can do uh, like underground. I can also do um, like favorite um, like albums by my favorite artists. So if you want me to do that, I can do that as well. But pretty much my favorite artists are Trippy Red, XXX Tentacion, Juice World, Lil Uzi Vert, um, Ski Mask the Slump God, um, Lil Skies, Lil Peep, A Boogie with the Hoodie, um, YNW Melly, and Playboy Cardi. And so we're going to start off with Trippy Red. And Trippy Red is by far my favorite artist. And my favorite song by Trippy Red used to be Dark Knight Dumbo. And it's kind of on the, the, um, like the fence of still being Dark Knight Dumbo. But it is now Loyalty Before Royalty, and I really love that song, I really enjoy that song, and a fact I just found about this song is that Juice World was supposed to be on that song, and what I could speculate from it, I am, in the video I watched, is an Adam 22 No Jumper video, I believe that Juice World and Trippie Red were supposed to have a collaborative project, just like how Future and Juice World had um, World on Drugs, they were supposed to have a collaborative project, I believe that's when they, because they they put in Matt Hardy, they were they had in that video. They had fourteen hundred nine hundred nine freestyle. They had loyalty before royalty, and these are all songs that they worked on together. And by far, they are one of my favorite duos ever, um, Juice World and Trippy Red. And now, um, so I will play I'll play all the songs at the end of each artist. That's my brother, that's my brother today. But now the next artist I have here is XXX Tentacion, RIPX. He was another very influential uh, artist that had a huge influence on me, not just through music, but just through like a person and just anything. And I was sad the day that he passed away, and which also really sucks that he passed away on Trippie Red's birthday, and they were pretty close, although they weren't really close uh, near the end of X's life. They were really close um, before, and it was just kind of sad to see that one of his great friends passed away on his birthday. But now back to the topic. So pretty much um, my favorite X song is Changes, and it always just puts me in a good mood. He he's amazing on it, and he doesn't have any auto tune. He's just one of those artists that are really that was very very versatile, and I just loved him for that. Mm, baby, I don't understand this. You're changing, I can't stand. Now we have Juice World. Juice World was another very influential artist on me. My top three artists are they were very influential on me, and R.I.P. to Juice World as well. Another good friend of Trippie Reds, and um, he was just had such a huge impact on me. And my favorite song by Juice World is Armed and Dangerous, just because it gives me such like a throwback feel. And every time I in a couple years ago I'd walk up to baseball, and that was like the first song I'd play. And um, it's just an amazing song. I know all the words. It gets me hyped every time I listen to it. And uh, honestly, it's just an amazing song. I'm in town. Yeah. Party's going down. Shoot them down. But now the next song we have is, uh, the next artist we have is Lil Uzi Vert. And he is an amazing artist ever since he came in the game. Um, and even before he blew up in 2015, um, he's just been an amazing artist. Although he, he hasn't really, um, he didn't really drop much um, from like 2015 until like 2019 and even until like 2020 pretty much where he dropped EA and uh, Lil Uzi Vert vs. The World 2. And my favorite song by Uzi is Do What I Want. It's just an amazing song. It honestly puts me in such a good mood every time I hear it. It hypes me up. And I just really love Uzi for that song. Now I do what I want. 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 Now the next song we have with the artist is Ski Mask the Slump God with So High. This is off his, um, I think his debut studio album uh, Stokely 
and um, it, it just has so much meaning behind it. It is like a, a whole tribute to X and Ski. It's like a bit different of like a vibe for Ski because he usually does more lyrical um, songs like Faucet Failure and it's just an amazing song and I recommend that you listen to it. So. Now the next song we have is um, Welcome to the Rodeo by Little Skies and is my favorite Little Skies song by far. Um, the other songs I'd say I really enjoy, actually I really enjoy that project, I really enjoyed Shelby and I'm really looking forward to hear what Lil Skies has in store because he has dropped some heat this year. He dropped Having My Way, he dropped Riot and he dropped Fidget, those are amazing songs. And um, but welcome to the rodeo is such a throwback. It is an internet money produced beat. And if you know me, I really love internet money. They uh, and Nick Mir, they're like Nick Mir is my number one producer. My second favorite producer is Pierre Bourne, and then my third favorite producer is oh my is Ronnie J. So also, if you wanted me to do a video about my favorite producers and the songs, like my favorite songs that they produced, um, I'll pro I probably will do a video about that. And I just really love Welcome to the Rodeo. Hey, hey, I ain't folding under pressure, I ain't switching for no, I ain't talking to no. And now we have a uh, little peep and uh, another very, really, very good artist. Um, I'm pretty sure he had an impact on Juice. And, the, and so did X have an impact on Juice. That's why Juice did the Legends song. It was dedicated to Peep and Juice, or Peep and X. Um, and Little Peep was an amazing artist as well. R.I.P. Peep. And my favorite song by Peep is Witchblades with Lil Tracy. Honestly, any Peep Lil Tracy uh, collab song is amazing and I really loved when they collabed even though they had a little bit of a fall off before uh, Peep died. They were just really, the goth boy click was really good as well and I just really enjoyed uh, Tracy with Peep. It was a really, another really, really good combo together and uh, yes, Witchblades is my favorite Peep song. Switchblades. And now the next artist we have is um, a boogie with the hoodie, and he is another really really good artist that I that I really enjoy. Um, I I really enjoyed the bigger artist, even artist. Um, I I enjoyed um, artist 2.0, and of course I enjoyed hoodie season. And the song I picked, my favorite of Boogie with the Hoodie song is Say. And it just also just puts me, like, it's got a really good vibe to it. And I just really, really enjoy that song. I really think he did his thing on that song. And uh, honestly, a Boogie with the Hoodie is really, he's, I'm pretty sure, he's, I feel like he's underappreciated. And uh, he showed that he's really, makes really good music with Artist 2.0 in 2020 because people were saying that he was falling off. But honestly, I don't think he has. And he proved everybody wrong with uh, Artist 2.0. But Say is my favorite of Boogie with the Hoodie song. And now my last artist um, is YNW Melly. And um, ever since I heard Murder On My Mind back in 2018, I really enjoyed YNW Melly. And um, the first day that he dropped, um, that he dropped Melly versus Melvin, uh, or Melvin, I think I'm pretty sure it's Melly, Melly versus Melvin. Actually, I could be wrong. Maybe it's Melvin versus Melly. Um, but. That being said, I really enjoy YNW Melly. He has amazing songs. I feel like a couple more songs could have blown up off of Melly vs. Melvin. And um, just because it was an amazing, um, it was an amazing album. And Suicidal blew up, of course, and 223s was also off that album. And I just really think that was a really good album. And he just has, he brings the hits. And my favorite YNW Melly song is 772 Love. And all, and it just brings me back to like, I guess, 
20, 2018 or when he when that song was released and I have it on my old playlist a lot of these songs I had on my old playlist that's why I go back to them all the time because it just brings me back to that mood um, back in the day when I used to listen to these songs even though I still listen to these songs a lot but when I first found these songs it was just an amazing vibe and I just really love 772 by YNW Melly yeah. You know I love it when I'm nasty. So those are my favorite songs by my favorite artists. Comment down below um, what your favorite songs are from these artists or if you really care about these artists or whatever. But anyway, um, that has been my favorite songs by my favorite artists. So I totally forgot another one of my favorite artists was Playboy Cardi, and I'm really sorry that I forgot about Playboy Cardi. Um, that's kind of awkward. I I had my my list on my phone, but then my phone ended up turning off, so I just kind of just went off that. And I should have counted, but it's kind of awkward. My favorite song by Playboy Cardi is Location off of the self-titled album. I really enjoyed both albums, Dial It and self-titled and i just really enjoy location it's got more of like a laid back vibe you can just like sit back in your chair and relax and just listen to this song and i'm i'm really looking forward to hearing a whole lot of red that that if it if it ever drops honestly who knows if it'll ever drop and i really like how playboy cardi changed his style he went from like he went from uh, Cash Cardi to, uh, um, I think it was a little bit of baby voice on um, on Die Lit, and then it was now he's changing to the baby voice, although he's changed back, but I really enjoyed Atma, and I also really um, enjoyed his verse on Pain 1993. I don't know why a lot, a lot of people like it, but I really, I really like Playboy Cardi. <laughs> I'm sorry that I missed him. I feel bad, but... Uh, yeah, again, these have been my favorite songs by my favorite artists. So it is now later in the night and I've just been watching YouTube for the past while. I was talking with my family as well, as well as editing this video. And I, I've honestly had a lot of fun editing this video, and um, most of the times now, the songs that you see in in my videos are my songs, and I tried something new today, whereas the old intro was not the intro, and then the old outro was not the outro anymore. So uh, I just did a time lapse and like the date and like the end. So comment below if you guys like that because I did really work hard on it to try something new. Just go out of my comfort zone and try something new. Try something cool and different than what I'm normally used to. But it is quarter to midnight right now. So uh, I do believe that is going to have to end off today's video. So basically, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you guys enjoyed. And if you like to watch another video, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on my post notifications. And smash that like button. Smash. So, so, peace out. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.